Alright, welcome back, folks. This is the Benjinator watching Let's Play Xenogears. This is episode 8, and uh, so we are still, still in the Black Moon Forest. We've been here literally for four episodes at this point. Um, Dr. Sita Nuzuki told uh, Ellie to go away. I have the kindness for Faye's heart, so now we're, we're going to get ourselves embroiled in another international conflict. Involving two countries and giant robots. Oh, and speaking of giant robots, we now we have one on our side. There he is, the Welltall, which is awesome, by the way. Much to Faye's dismay, as you might imagine. Okay, well, what's going on now? Are we gonna are we gonna get attacked by a giant floating object? Is this? Well, that's a big ship. That is a big ship. Oh wow, they're not messing around. Yeah. You know, I, I suspected that this was a modern setting. I didn't know it was this modern. But I guess with giant robots, they're probably gonna have giant ships too. The Geplar forces. The Sacred Empire of Solaris. Hmm. Lots of names. Lots of names. You're gonna be hearing them over and over again, so. Always something to remember. Ah, oh, yes, they're the they're the auxiliary orga military organization. Now, this is uh, stuff that's kind of covered in the beginning, but now, of course, Doc is explaining it to Faye in a little bit more detail. Mm-hmm. Now it's almost a stalemate. Two countries going to war. We're about to <laughs> we're about to hurl ourselves right in the middle of it. Yep. Uh, yeah, so she's, um, Ellie, of course, is part of a country that has a lot of money and a lot of power. Usually, yeah, financed by Bruins, so that's kind of how it works. Hmm. You sure are. Five hundred year old temple. Well, one thing I will say about this game is that you don't really spend a whole t lot of time looking in ancient temples, so that's kind of a, a good thing because uh, you know it, it's sort of some. It's kind of a cliche, really, something that gets kind of old. All right. So speaking of which, now we get to get to see some more fun stuff. We get to see Satan Yuzuki fight, who's actually quite good at it, by the way. Rather powerful. So. For now, we might as well just use the death blow since we can't learn any any new ones. But for our friend, the doctor, just use that same sequence: the uh, triangle and the X, and you should be in good shape. I mean, I guess you could do this. You could double squares if you really want to, which is fine. It's all good. Thankfully, these hobgobs are easy, simple, not too hard. Thank you, Doctor. All right, that, ah, the camera's in the way. All right, so now we have officially exited the uh, the land of. Oh yeah, there's there's that there's that song again. Emotions. So now we're gonna go to the next town, which we'll be seeing pretty soon. Oh look, sand sharks. These things are actually kind of a pain in the ass. You you, you don't want to fight them now. So you can always escape. These guys, they actually do a lot of damage. Um, we will be fighting them later, but you, you really don't want to mess with the sand sharks right now. There are very few enemies in this game that I would advise running away from. That's one of them. So, there's this town right here, which, by the way, you, you should go into, but if you try to venture out further, um, this is what happens, so this is actually kind of... Yeah, you don't, you don't want to go here quite yet. If you, if you go to the desert now, it, it's just going to be like kind of an endless looping of screens. I don't know, if, if you guys that might have played Final Fantasy VII, it's kind of like that when you go to the, uh, the Corel Pit. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. So anyway, we're going to go to Dazzle. Dazzle! Or Dazil. I don't know, we're just going to call it Dazzle. I used to have a Dazzle DVD recorder to do these videos, but it broke. I do like this music though. It's fun. Mm-hmm. We 
We are now officially in Ave territory, or Ava. It kind of resembles the Middle East. In a strange way. Yep. Excavations! Lots of resources. So hopefully this place will give us some more intel. Because, really, um, when you're kind of hauling around a dead robot, it doesn't exactly help. I know, Faye. I know you don't want it to, to be the case, but it is what it is. It's pretty much dead weight. Oh, yeah. I forgot the ethos does operate here. It's funny just because, like, later on you'll see that the ethos headquarters is in one particular location, so that's what I always associate it with. Yep. By the way... Just a quick note, viewers. There's a general rule in most RPGs that enemy soldiers tend to be really, really easy. This game is no exception. Um, later on, when you have to fight any kind of enemy soldier type, it's uh, they're usually pretty easy. So, ru ruined. Oh god, that guy. Yeah. So these. These soldiers aren't, you know, it's not like one of these puzzles where you have to kind of avoid, you know, causing trouble with the guards, otherwise you have to fight them or they kick you out of town. Uh, that doesn't happen. So let's go, let's say hello to the guards after this guy's done babbling. Yeah, like I said before, I don't, I haven't spent a lot of time talking to NPCs in this game, but I'm going to do it for your, for your benefit, for your benefit, viewers. I would say normally... Um, I would do this so that you don't have to play this game, but I, like with all my other games, I recommend you play every single one, despite what I say. Um, especially a game like Saga Frontier, the last game I did. If you haven't played that game, you, you should. It might not be your cup of tea. Um, and if you don't deal like, uh, if you don't feel like dealing with all the hubbub and the difficulty and the the non-linearity and the grinding, then you can just watch my LP, but I do recommend you play it. Anyway, so that's that's my shameless plug for the day. Who's this guy? Excavate? How can you totally excavate a place? Like, that, that that's just not gonna happen. I mean, really, like, they haven't even found all the oil in the world yet. In the actual world, not the, the world of Xenogears. I'm not sure if they use oil in this world, actually. Yeah, what are these? What are these guys? What outfits are they wearing? Well, I guess it's a good place to come if you're, uh, you know, looking for treasure. If you're, although it's not a very hospitable environment, I will say that. Oh, that guy! No, shut up! I don't want to listen to you. You're full of bad puns, and I don't like bad puns. Okay, thank you, thank you. Who's this lady? Hubby. Yeah, that guy looks like a suicide bomber, for God's sakes. I mean, just like the, just the robe, and it looks like he's got like a, a bulge under his, his vest. It's bad. Uh, I'm not sure if what he said actually made any sense. Yeah, it's like one of those people that tries to sound smart, but isn't. And you can tell, because his wife insisted that, that he was smart. Kiss led. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was my rendition of rock and roll all night. By the way, it's uh, it was it was terrible. You can just erase it from your mind. Oh, okay, so we got a shop finally, a place where you can buy stuff. Okay, so as you can see, the um, it's pretty straightforward here. We don't really have a lot of uh, HP, uh, gold at the moment, though. Unfortunately, we can only buy one survival tank, but this is a, is a situation that can easily be remedied, because we can sell scales, which will give us 500, and uh, an eyeball, which will give us 200, so might as well get another survival tent or two. Oh, it's only... Oh, Wait, never mind. I was trying to sell my survival tent. I don't want to sell those. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear the background music very well, but 
It sounds like they're chanting O oh, Iguana Hayo. That's always just kind of what it sounded like to me. Yeah, it totally says Iguana. Crazy. Do, 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 do. This music is really... Actually, it's quite good. Gears. Big old gears. No, no. I'm not going to bestow the Boston accent on that little kid. That's a that's a fate nobody really deserves to endure. All right, so what do we got here, actually? Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's gear shops will open up later. And these guys are kind of given like one of those uh, breaking the fourth wall hits. Like I hear that there's a way to equip gear parts and improve the performance and power of your gears. You know, it's, it's kind of it's kind of giving you a heads up to the to the player being like, hey, you know, you, know, you, you can you can improve your gears. It's entirely possible. So let's go into the place with the strange uh, crosses. So this is the ethos headquarters, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't bestow a lot of confidence that thing. Oh, look at those polygons moving up and down. I do like the the, 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 uh, the use of uh, the camera angle here, though. Yep. Oh, it's not the headquarters, just a workshop. Oh, I see. So there's um, uh, there's a lot of like patent patents going around, huh? Gears can only be re can only be restored in certain places, kind of like how uh, Apple computers can only be repaired at Apple shops using Apple parts. I see how it is. I see how it is. Time is money, but we also don't have a lot of money, Mr. Izuki. What's up? Yeah, can you can you repair this, please? This would make it so much easier. Ah, the X29 model. It's the deluxe version. Yeah, <laughs> we're sorry, but uh, your gear is too new. It's like when you get a new computer, and there's a bunch of old programs that you want to run, but it's just like, no, 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 it's it's not going to work. That software is just too old for us. What is this ancient script? Yeah, sorry. Gear is too cool for our shop. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Oh, it's not being repaired. You know, like, if you... My guess is that you could, like, literally stand around in ga game time. Just let the clock run for 72 hours and still wouldn't be prepared. Hmm. We're gonna have a... We're gonna have a deep conversation. What's on your mind, Faye? <laughs> what about Welltall? Nah... Uh, I wouldn't leave that thing lying around. It's kind of an important gear, Faye. Hmm. Wouldn't that be convenient? Actually, it would be inconvenient because, you know, whether or not Faye likes it, he's still going to have to deal with some real shit. Without that gear, it's going to be so much harder. Yeah. Okay. And the only way to move it is to ride it. I mean, it's not like we have a huge... Uh, it's not like we have a lift that we can use. It's not like we can haul that thing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a pretty good guess, see, Tenuzuki. You're so smart. Yep. Geblar. Sorry, folks. I'll try not to read this as fast. I, I I tend to move the text a little bit faster than I should. Sabotage. It's what uh, it's what opposing enemy countries do to each other. Experimental. I would say it works pretty well. I would say that it's pretty that works pretty well. Uh huh. Oh, they're gonna be back. That's not good. 
Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> if you're concerned about the uh, people in the village, you know they're they're coming back. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be ugly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this is a really. I do like this. The fact that, you know, so early in the game, you have a character that's just incredibly practical, basically just being like, just, okay, like, dude, I know you're having an existential crisis, and I know that you're feeling suicidal, but really, the thing we need to do now is move this robot away from the people that you care about. That's probably the smart thing. Like, it's just, it's just all practicality. There's no, like, big noble quest. There's no, like, you know, there's no big-time vengeance story. Well, not really anyway. I mean, there sort of is, but basically this is all just, hey, let's be practical. Let's let's move um, move this stuff away. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Faye. All right, so I guess the doc wants us to go look for some stuff. All right, well, I guess this is a good kind of a good place to stop for now. So we've entered the city of Dazzle figured out we can't fix the gear that we got by ordinary means, but there might be another way to excavate some parts and find them ourselves, which might mean we have to go to some ruins or some temples or some other RPG cliches. Which RPG cliches shall we see in the next video? Hint, none of them, because this is Xeno Gears. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Benjinator. I'll see you guys later.